ready for the phones to start blowing up. My first guest uh, on our eighth annual Radiothon is a lovely young lady named Esmeralda. Esmeralda, how are you? I'm good. 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 And mom, Brenda, is here also. I'm good, too. Oh, all right, good. All right, we got the, the hard stuff out of the way. Now, Esmeralda, you've been coming to All Children's Hospital for, uh, you're 17 now, mm -hmm. and you've been coming here for a very long time, since you were three years old. And tell me a little bit about why you started coming here and how your experience has been. Um, I, I started coming here because I've had troubles with my kidneys, mm -hmm. and they, you know, they shut down, so... I had to have a dialysis and all that. I was going to ask you, um, how long, What? tell me a little bit, because I'm, I'm, I'm just jockey. Uh, tell me about dialysis. What goes with that and, and, and how that, that whole thing happens and what, what happens while you're on dialysis? Um, and how long does it take? When I was on dialysis, it made me feel sick and, yeah. you know, tired. Yeah. And it was about four hours on the machine. So, what exactly does the machine do? Um, Mom, can you you can interject anytime you want. The Esmeralda is super machine, nervous. <laughs> the machine actually um, cleans the blood and all of the bad stuff that the kidneys cannot get rid of. Okay. Um, that's the purpose, and also reducing the fluid because with the kidneys not functioning, the body builds up too much fluid, and it causes the high blood pressure. How old was she the first time that she had to start dialysis? Um, I'd say around the age of 12. Okay. So from 3 until 12, how did they treat, what did, uh, what did they, they do for Esmeralda here at All Children's? Just medication-wise, but she didn't lose the kidneys until she turned 12. Mm. But there's good news here. Uh, you have since received a kidney transplant. Mm -hmm. All right. How long ago was that? Um, yes, round of applause. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that was like hitting the lotto for us. I bet. For sure. Uh, because we live in Arcadia, and it's about an hour and a half away from here, mm -hmm. and so that was a pretty good drive three days a week yeah. for dialysis over oh, here. Absolutely. So it was, it was a blessing when we got the call for the kidney. Esmeralda, after you got, from the time that you, um, that you got the call that you were getting a new kidney, um, your physical state, how you felt every day until you were fully recovered with your new kidney, how do you feel different every day now? I mean, do you, um, do you kind of, does it, I mean, what is, what is, I'm trying to learn as I go along here. What does it feel like when, you, when your kidneys don't work? Um, it doesn't. I don't know. Of course, she you probably doesn't know any different because she's had it since she was three years old. Right. Um, I mean, the best way that I could describe it is that she just always felt really tired, no energy. Right. Um, you know, couldn't do everything that normal kids can do. But after transplant, the kidney started working immediately. Oh, that's awesome. Um, she actually got a kidney from, from somebody from a motorcycle accident, a gentleman, actually. He was oh. a really big guy. So she's <laughs> got a big kidney, and it works better, <laughs> it works better than ours. So what can that's I say? That's awesome. She's had it now for three years. So how it's is, still working great. How is life today with your new giant kidney? Awesome. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's so good to hear. Now, is it true, Esmeralda? Now, what grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. 10th grade. Is it true that you participate in the junior ROTC at school? Yes, I do. Uh, what do you do with ROTC? And tell me, you know what? Uh, the, my my uh, daughter is here also, and she has some friends that are in the ROTC at her school. And I've, I don't even know what ROTC stands for. What does that mean? Um, it's, what? On the spot? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's like an Army class, you know. You, yes. And it's not, it's like training for... The army, and so being in the military, yeah, like being in the military. Did you get to carry the flags out and stuff before football games? And yes, you I, did that. I do that. Nice. That's that's pretty prestigious to be able to do that, is it not? Because not everybody gets to carry the flags out before a football game, do they? Mm -mm. That's really cool. I bet you're glad you get able to do mm -hmm. that. That's awesome. So, Esmeralda, thank you so much for coming in, and thank you for being putting on a brave face and not being too <laughs> scared while you're up here with me. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mom, thank you. You're is there welcome. anything else that you want to add? Do you have anything you want to talk about the, the, the hospital, uh, um, your experience, the doctors and nurses? Has she had pretty much the same doctors and nurses the whole time she's been here? Oh, absolutely. Um, Dr. Perlman is the best of the best. Um, we wish her all the luck, you know, going through this illness that she has. May God be with her. Dr. Flores is awesome. We have a great team of dialysis nurses that I have been dealing with for years. Right. 
and they are just amazing over there. Um, the hospital all in all has been great to me. She's had you know many relapses where she's been in the hospital and they just take such good care of us. It's like we're mm -hmm. home. Yeah, that's true. Such good people. It's family yeah. like when you walk in. I, I mean, my, my my oldest daughter had her um, her tonsils out years and years ago. My other daughter had a, a, a minor surgery here also. I, I, you know, I'm not a regular, like, you know, like unfortunate parent, you know, you Esmeralda and you mom, Brenda. But, I mean, even when I walk in here, and I'm only here once a year, it's just like, how you been? What's going on? You know, it's just like you get caught up and it's right where you left off, you know, every time that you come in because the people here are just so wonderful and so nice and caring and absolutely awesome. Esmeralda, Brenda, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. No problem. Appreciate thank it. you. 1-800-270-8642. That is the phone number. Call up. Give a donation to Esmeralda's name. You can absolutely do that. And uh, can become a monthly miracle maker. And you can get in on the running of those uh, two Country 500 three-day passes over there at Daytona International Speedway and the Florida Georgia Line autographed guitar. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Some more tunes and some more stories and call up and become that monthly miracle maker. 800-270-8642. We're live from the 8th annual US 103.5 Cares for Kids Radiothon.